Congratulations on getting your Blast mic. You're about five minutes from reaching listeners with the press of a button. The first step to streaming on Blast Radio is to create a profile in the free Blast Radio mobile app. If you haven't done that, go ahead and hit pause, download the app, and set up your profile. Now that you've done that, let's first get oriented with Blast Mic's inputs and outputs. The top one is a line level input. This is for incorporating any external audio sources into your stream. For example, you could connect your laptop or a tablet to play background music or sound effects. The other two are microphone inputs. You don't need these to stream since the device has a built-in microphone. We included them in case you want to use an external lavalier microphone for you and your guest. On the bottom right, you'll see two headphone outputs. These are so you and any guests you have can monitor how you sound. You'll also notice the device has buttons on the left and right side. We'll talk about those after we pair your device to your account. Let's go ahead and do that now. Turn on Blast Mic by pressing the red button. When it powers on, you'll see the current firmware on the device, and then it will say Setup Mode. Take out your phone, open the Blast Radio app, tap the Stream icon on the top right, and then tap Setup Device. Select your device, then your Wi-Fi network. The device will then reset and say Ready. You can now press the button on the right side of Blast Mic to see your current battery level, your Wi-Fi strength, and your username. You can hold Blast Mic in your hand, or you can use the threaded input on the bottom to attach it to a tripod. Now let's get your sound right. Start by plugging headphones into the right side of the device. Once they're plugged in, you can adjust their volume using the three buttons on the left side. Press the middle until you see the headphone and the up or down to change the volume. Listen to how you sound as you move closer or further away from the microphone. Too close, then you may hear a popping sound when you say words like pineapple. If that happens, just move the mic a bit further away from your mouth or grab a foam pop filter, which are commonly used in all types of recording. Now that you're happy with the sound coming through your headphone monitor, let's go live and check what an actual stream sounds like. Since we're still testing, we're going to go live with a sound check stream, a private stream that only you can hear. Open the Blast Radio app, tap the streaming icon on the top right, then tap the sound check text. Now that it's on, whenever you start a stream, it will be private only to you. Now sound check is on, so go ahead and press the red button to start your stream. Talk for 30 to 60 seconds. While you're still live, you should see your profile picture in the top left corner of the app. Tap on that picture to listen to what you just streamed. There's a short delay between what you say and when listeners hear it, so you should be able to hear yourself. If you're happy with the sound, then you're ready to go live for listeners. Press the red button again to stop your stream. Soundcheck turns off automatically after one use. So now, when you press the red button again on Blast Mic, you'll be live for actual listeners. We suggest doing a sound check every time you join a new Wi-Fi network. That way you can confirm your connection's strong enough for a good quality stream. If you're not happy with the sound, then it's likely because either you're too quiet or you have a bad Wi-Fi connection. If you're too quiet, then you can adjust your microphone gain. Do that by pressing the middle button on the left side of the device until you see the microphone logo. Then use the up and down buttons to adjust the gain to be louder or quieter. If you're not happy with the quality of your stream, for instance, if it sounds glitchy or it has drops in your voice, that's almost certainly an internet connection issue. All streams are uploaded to the cloud in a lossless wave format, so a good connection is essential to sounding good. Try moving closer to your Wi-Fi source or turning off any other devices that could be consuming a lot of bandwidth. Now you're ready to start streaming. Host a full-on radio show, be the announcer of your favorite sports team, give daily stock tips or cover the hottest celebrity gossip. It's up to you. Shows can be a short, or as long as you want, and you can go live as many times as you want. Have fun. Happy streaming.